Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, is talking about how we can host a website into Heroku's. So uh, the first thing we need to do is you need have a Heroku account, and if you want to know how to create a new Heroku account, you can check my uh, video in the below description. And so now I assume you have a um, uh, Heroku account. So here is the dashboard when you log in to Heroku. So now you can create new app and you can create a team. Okay, let's get started together. And the first thing you need to do is create a new app. So now you can uh, put uh, your application name. So we can say uh, help. All right. So now I can create app. Okay, here is a. Uh, how to deploy our uh, application to the pipeline but the important thing you need to here is how to deploy you can deploy using Heroku CLI or you can connect to your github and you can use Heroku uh, CLI container registry and here is you can deploy using here group kits but the first thing you need to do is uh, download and install here group CLI okay here if you're using the Mac OS you can use this command you can use home pro to install the here group CLI if you're using the window, you can download the installer here for your system. If you use 64-bit installer, you can install here. Okay, for you user, user, you can use a, a, a terminal to install. You could like this. And others, install the same result. You can just call install by SH okay for me I'm using the window so I need to download installer Okay. As now you install Heroku CLI, you need to have Git. So you need to install Git because uh, we need to use Git to deploy our application to the uh, Heroku. Okay, so now I want to uh, go to my website folder. For example, I create a folder to store my website for demo. Okay, now I want to open git here okay here is the current folder and when you go to here you need to run this command to lock in your uh, account 
account to upload or deploy your web application project to the Yellow Group. So you need to press any key to open pop-up browser to uh, log in or queue to exit. Okay, when it opening the browser, you just see like this, so you click login. Now, uh, uh, you can close this page and return to your CLI. It will, it should be now login. Okay, right? So now, I am login. Login is done. So, after that, and close it and uh, now you need to initial you can go in to my project and we need and set and remote okay uh, for example I want to create a Okay, now we have PHP file, so we need to deploy this uh, uh, file to the server here code. So what you need to do is using git init to initialize the git repository. Now we initial into git repository in our folder website. So as the you need to use this command to set the remote to our application in here course. Okay, now we set to uh, the here course application. So now you can add commit and you can push to deploy our website into the server. Okay, now you need to add your file and commit okay now you can push by using this command you push your group master now it, it, it will deploy your web application to the uh, here you go server so you can access okay as you can see now you deploy to here go if you want to see it you just access this URL let's take a look at it as you can see here is a uh, uh, I, I created a PHP file and is the text so let it lie as simple or web page
Okay, here we go. Check it out. There is a template website. So now I extract it. Yes, and delete this one. Okay, now I want it. So I hit again because I already updated. So I need to repeat that again and I can commit to the save of that again. Okay, now I can push the little group and start. Of the part like this board type. Okay, because this is not the HP. Let it play again. Okay, done. 